Double I, double A, G, boys basketball playoffs, round one. Southern High Dolphins, 2-14 and 14 in the regular season at St. John's, 10-6 and 6 for the Knights. Harvest, 4-12 and 12 at the Geckos. GW finishing with a 10-6 and 6 record. Uh, T-Gen, winless, 0-16. They take on the Bulldogs of Ukadu. Ukadu, of course, 10-6 and 6 this season. St. Paul's, 5-11 and 11 at Notre Dame, 6-10. and 10. All right, round one, of course, quarterfinals. Go down Friday. Of course, a uh, big first round by uh, going out to the top uh, two teams in each uh, divisions, both the Gato and the Togat divisions. So we're going to see uh, first place, Father Duaneus out there, Sanchez, Guam High, and the Islanders in the quarterfinals. That's Friday night. Keep it here on the show for more info, and good luck to all the teams. The ninth annual Rick's Reef Classic is set for this Saturday at the Rick's Reef. And if Mother Nature cooperates, Guahanapu President Willie Byerly says competitors and fans could be in for some solid waves, dude. Uh, it's supposed to arrive early on Thursday, so hopefully it'll be big enough it'll last till uh, Saturday. And while big waves may make for some epic rides, Byerly says a bigger swell could leave some competitors out in the cold. We don't want it too big uh, because we're bringing in uh, the women um, by popular demand. Uh, we haven't had them in the last couple of years because usually when we have the surf, it's like, you know, six to eight foot. So it gets a little bit hairy, you know, like safety wise. And uh, we're eliminating the juniors because we only have uh, a couple of juniors, but the junior girls, they can enter the uh, women's because some of the junior girls are as good as the older women. In other surf news, Talafofo Bay has enjoyed a recent resurgence as a popular surf spot, and Byerly would like to thank some people for improved accessibility to bay facilities. Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio, Mark Calvo from the Governor's Office, GVB and Parks and Rec for uh, uh, rescheduling the uh, bathrooms at Talafofo. I explained to them that... Uh, after last year uh, with a the typhoon, there's surf every day, so we have kids coming in and coming down after uh, school. So they're opening the bathrooms now uh, seven days a week, nine to six. So Saturday, Rick's Reef, get your quick dries on and let's go surfing now. And if for some reason the swell is a no-show, be sure to check out this show and we'll keep you in the loop. Are you ready for Submit? Submit, Guam's first submission-only grappling tournament, set to go down Wednesday, March 16th at the Sandcastle in Tumon. Now, the match card was narrowed down from nearly 300 registrants to what Submit founder Melker Manabusen calls the Sweat 16. Eight bouts pitting the best of the beasts of Guam's grappling scene against each other. Just, just overall submission grappling, no points. You can do everything, everything. Reaping, ankle locks, heel hooks, doesn't matter what belt. So you know and you sign up and you know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah, no submission, no winner. You have to submit to win. And submit to win the competitors will do. With an aggressive referee style, Manabusan promises no one will lollygag their way through the 20 minute matches. They tend to relax and, and wait and, 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 and play back and just, and, and just give a little bit and then and retreat again so that they can let time run by because they know that it's really hard to like sprint for 20 minutes. Well, our job, our referee's job is to push the pace. So if you had a position or submission and you're just holding on for 15 seconds, our referee's gonna tell you to action, action. At, off his third call on action, he can stand up and break it up. He be one action, you know what I mean? We don't want people to just Take someone down, lighter for 10 minutes, and then try to submit the guy. That's super boring. You will never be back on our show, that's for sure. Manabusan says with the explosive players on the submit card, matches could go any way, and the fighter who seems like he's winning could suddenly be on the losing end. You know, I can be smashing the shit out of you. Okay, I'm all over you, I'm scoring, I'm running game on you. You, at 18 minutes, I get tired, you're like, okay, my turn. You take my bat, you choke me out, you know what I mean? and that's the winner so you got i i can be running game on you for 18 minutes and in the last you know two minutes you you finish me who's the winner you know so not not how much transitions not how much times i i rolled around your amount to you or you know swept you or took you down or pushed you all over the mat or swept you all over the mat it's was i able to finish you i was i was unable to finish you and you you know you did your job as a as a uh, as a martial artist as protecting yourself defending yourself 
and you capitalize on my weakness, which was maybe I was tired. Maybe I created an opening and you capitalize and you, and you finish. And now your official match card for submit. Youth match, Ryan Martinez versus Stussy Sharoma. Carlson Gracie's Anthony Limtiaco versus Spike 22's Mike Titano. Figo's Norberto Rosario takes on Spike's Joey Chrysostomo. Vita's Ed Santos versus Purebred's Josh Jerome. Purebred's Javier Morellas versus Spike's Justin the Moderator Beneventi. Carlson Gracie's Kevin Cruz versus Purebred's Mike Sanchez. Unlimited MMA's JJ Ambrose versus Purebred's Eric Sian. And the first ever Chamorro Black Belt Battle main event. Black Belt Spike 22's Jacob Guerrero versus Purebred's Terrence Affligui. Wednesday, March 16th, submit at the Sandcastle. For ticket information, visit Cauliflower Culture HQ in Timuning across TikTok. And of course, we'll have more on submit coming up here on the show.